Yo, how's it going YouTube? It's me, Dark, back with another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. We're on part two. I might make this longer just because, uh, you know, I don't want this series to go on forever. But yeah, we're going to go straight back where we left off. Okay, I haven't read any of this part, so let Was that the two of us depart from the club room and make our way home? The whole way, in my mind, what? One one wanders back and wanders back and forth between the four girls. Saire, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in literature club in literature in a literature club? Well, was these four girls? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, we will. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I just need. To to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight mate poem writing skills let's go it's time to write a poem pick a word you would think your favourite club member would like something good might happen with the most whoever you like well wait so how do I know how would what the what why do stickers keep moving? Stop it! Um... What the hell? Why, why is there massacre, suicide, grief and... Determination, melody... Ooh, de determination. Trust, determination. Uh... Hmm... 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 Vanilla... Why is she so mad and why is she so... Romance, vivid, vibrate, candy, promise, defeat, journey, party... I don't know. I'm just going to start picking random words right now. Ah, gotta write a poem. This is not how you write a poem. Happiness, misfortune, special, sparkle. Uh, inferno. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. So it's going to show every word at the end, and I'm going to probably have to do something with it. Sunny. Destiny. I don't even see. D dark. Uh. 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 Eternity. There's ten more pages where that came from. Call me Papa now, chicken. Uh, amazing. Why don't I have- they're so cute though. But look at Cyrus, he's so cute. Uh... Infinite, I guess. I don't know. Heart, misery, kawaii, around time, strawberry, peaceful giggle, rainbow, skipping. I like to laugh. Let's go with kawaii. Uh, passion. Oh, whoops. Can I go back a page, please? God damn, I don't know what I pressed. Alright. Uh, imagination. And the last one will be... Nightgown. Best poem ever. And we're back at school. <clears throat> Gotta give his voices again. <clears throat> Hi again, Dark. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I always keep my word. Well, I'm back at the Lich Club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Dark. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for, of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into a literature club when you're not accustomed accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. 
Sire told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in a, in a club room. <coughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <coughs> manga, manga is literature. Swiftly defeat. Natsuki plops back into a seat. What's the side? What's the side? What's again? Don't worry, guys! Doug always gives it his best as long as he's having fun! He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. <coughs> how, how, depend, how dependable. Sire, that's because your room is messy. It's distract. It's so messy that it's distracting. I do almost set your ho house on fire once. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> you, you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh, how come you and Dark can be good friends too? Uh, um, Sire. Dot dot dot. As you hear, Sarah seems oblivious to the weird situation she put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri, even bought you something today, you know? <coughs> wait, sa sa <coughs> wait, sa Sarah? Uh, me? Uh, not, not really. Don't be shy. It, 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 it's really nothing. What, what is it? Ne never mind. Sarah make it sound like a big. Sarah does sound like a like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what, what, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. <coughs> oh my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> I, I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this, this this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice. Gen gen gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is is that so? Yeah, it, it, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. You reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel... I, I don't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It, it's a short read, so I should keep it should keep your attention, e even if you don't usually read. And we could, y you know, discuss it if if you want it. <coughs> I gotta keep remembering these voices and not making them sound the same. This is how is this girl accident accidentally being so cute? In it, she didn't pick out a book she think I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Yeah, because nothing happened last time we were here. But that doesn't seem to be the case, of course. Saira and Monica are having a cheap cheery conversation in the corner. Your face is already buried in, a, buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rum, 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 rummaging, uh, rummaging around in the closet. What was that for? Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this. I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. I'm feeling a little too tired to read. Excuses, I always use that excuse. I could possibly fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening to into, in on Sire's conversation. <coughs> We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs so. <coughs> hmm. Well, we can't give up. 
This festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing off that to everyone. Something that spend, speaks to their creative minds. Phew. That doesn't solve the problem, though. <coughs> uh, what, 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 what do you mean? If, <coughs> even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's important that we figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? <gasps> After they come, we can do the things to speak to their creative mind. What's this? Siren is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberately like this. Huh. That's it. <clears throat> that's it. That's a, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will be to do the trick? What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Oh, wait, no. Uh-huh. Good. Good thinking. Oh, God, I think of a better voice for Monica, because this is really annoying. Ah. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That would work out perfectly. That wasn't why you... That wasn't why you suggest... That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcake. Cupcake speak to my creative tummy. Uh. <sighs> Cup cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. <laughs> man, this game, man, this game. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Siren is still her usual self, but there, therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Siren can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh god, no! Oh my god, don't come to- <clears throat> I don't want to find Sarah to face, face filling my vision. That's creepy, man. I nearly fall out of my chair. <coughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't um, a napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. <coughs> Don't say that so loud. I was about to see if Monica overheard. It's true so. <coughs> it's true so. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Siren. <coughs> it's what I do best. That's the problem. What about you? You're looking out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I know. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sarah, it's written all over you. <gasps> Sarah glances around. <laughs> Oh my god. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, look, your hair is sticking out all around. But that's how her hair is. That's why she's so cute. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sarah's hair trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush. You really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more there's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. But that's how it should be. And there's two space stains on your collar right there. 
<laughs> I'm seeing out soon. Try to wipe the stains off with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. <clears throat> of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about that because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't ever keep your blazer buttoned up. Who does? Who, who keeps their blazers buttoned up? Seriously, Cyrus. Why don't you think... Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Mm, that's super mean. That was... That was... That was, that was really... That was, that was actually really savage. Why, why would you say that, Doc? Why, why would you say that? Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from top to the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Uh, this is so funny. What is? Well, I wasn't thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't make it awkward, man. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy you like this. Aren't, aren't you? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle fully and close the button near her chest. <clears throat> Does this even fit you properly? Uh, it did when I bought it. <sighs> If you ever buttoned it, you wouldn't have no noticed as soon as that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs getting bigger again. God damn it. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, huh. Why does it feel strange to see Sarah's bigger button up like this? But it's... But it's so stuffy. Oh... It's not much at all. Sarah has it unbuttons her blazer once more. Oh. <coughs> That's so much better. Puts her arms are out and twirls me. To the what what? So if I keep it unbuttoned then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't get, he wouldn't even let you do things like this. <coughs> and you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. This voice is getting annoying, man. <coughs> so why, so that's why I'm keeping it unbound. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. <coughs> I don't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only... If you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. <clears throat> yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sire. Ah, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell it was you sometimes. <clears throat> now I've got to go on my voice. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Doc, I can't wait to read yours. <laughs> what even is mine? Yeah, same. I fail to sound suggested where Sarah still trots away to retrieve her poem. What even is mine? My one. <clears throat> voice, 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 voice. By the way, did you remember to write the poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I'd never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sarah and Monica are enthusiastic to pull out their poems. Sarah is one is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from us spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Not to get new re 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 relucantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. 
I do the same myself. What even is my poem? Who should I show my poem to first? Oh, our first choice in the game. Nice. Well, we go with Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem. I want her to know I'm putting in the effort. What even is my poem? Oh, I'm scared. Ah, uh, hi, Dark. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new here, new in Everson, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things, we can do better. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? I find doing what they're doing with their hands making me do better. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Same. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh huh. Oh my god. Don't worry, Dark. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But I thought, but it's just that sort of barrier that we will all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had one to come up on. Mhm. Mm I like this one. It makes me think of something Syra would like. Is that so? Why? I wanted something you would like. For <laughs> you and Syra are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had these sort of things in common. Ah, well, we may be good friends, but Sarah and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. Gotta do this with my hands now. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like you two are re really care about each other as each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. That's the kind of vibe that, hmm. You sure you're not reading it in, in too, too much? <laughs> I, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Syrah's writing has kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she's like... She like she likes exploring emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each each their own. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to keep find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I always help. Like I always, I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Hmm. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who am I trying to impress? Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, nice. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spark of Protrudes, a noisy neighbour, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know, I wasn't home, I peer inside for a clue, no, I can't, I can't see, <clears throat> check, oh, sorry, poem asking. I need to blink like a film left out of the sun, but it's too late, my retinas already scorched with my permanent permanent copy of meaningless image. It's, it's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choice. I realise now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Wow! So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. 
if it's if that what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh huh. It's okay. Yeah, that kind of my style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That's it. That that is a lot of poems have been put em put an emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this? Uh. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I have some kind of empathy empathy recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An empathy. An empathy. Empathy. Yeah, it's empathy. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming um, strongly. Maybe after everyone's bad friends with each other. Anyway. <coughs> Here's Monica's writing type of tip for the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too f fixated on a specific point. Yeah, it does. If you try so hard to make it perfectly, then you'll then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down the paper and tidy it up later. Anyway, another way to think about it is if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a big dull puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, who should I show my poem to next? So are we just gonna keep going to everyone and here and there sorts of my poem? Um, so apparently Syra will like my poem, so yeah. This video will be a bit longer than last time probably, just because we want to get through it. Oh my goodness! This is so good, dog. Yeah? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Fire it? You must, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I just click random words. Well, it can't be that good because I was trying to impress Monica with it. Eh. Maybe that's why. Because I have no idea why I like you. <laughs> Jeez, I'll show Yuri's opinion as a little more constructive than this, maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Huh? Well, I'm not, I'm sure that part of it. It's part of it. That's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? <coughs> so when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a dark poem! It's a very dark poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like, I can feel your feeling in it. Sarah hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sarah. <laughs> I'm really just happy. I'm really happy just that you know one. It, rem <coughs> it just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, Derek. Deep down, you're not selfie at all, you know. Try and lose <laughs> My face is so cute. <laughs> oh my god, stop it! Try and do things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sarah. I'm not sure if Sarah see sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again. I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined, knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And <coughs> I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? I'll be my way, thank you. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to ho hold you to that then. Yay! Hey, can I read her poem? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, oh my god, this is gonna be really weird. The way you glow through the my, my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to, to help me out of bed, making me, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me, to me to wish away a rainy day? I love. I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. Oh my God! I'm loving this. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. 
I want breakfast. That was actually really good. It's it's really childish, but like it's it's really good. Cyro, this is just a, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mention to say that it was a bad poem. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I made I made eggs on toast. Even though you were late to school. It's it's bad to skip bre breakfast. I always skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <coughs> <coughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, yes. The next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Next, we go on to Yui. Ah. <coughs> hmm. She looks so interested. Like she, she's all in in my poem. She's all into my poem. I don't even know what my poem is. Yui stares at the poem. Yeah, she looks very, very. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 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 I don't know. How many passes? More than enough time to finish reading. Um. Oh. <laughs> S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> Um, um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I, I, I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is the first time writing my poem, right? Uh, yeah. This is going to be really constructive criticism. Why do you ask? I'm just, I, I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. I guess that it might have. Ah, so it's that bad. N no! Did I, did I just raise my voice? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her, buries her face into her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really got anywhere. It might take Yuri a, a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical to, of new writers. And having been thought that my, myself, I kind of learnt to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing that I recognise in new writers is that they try and make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expensiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's, a, it's as if her demon, dem, dem, demona totally changes. Her, star, her stru, stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even in simple poems, not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together, together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you well valuable feedback. I think you can be a little biased though. Biased how? Um. Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologized to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thoughts and process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Oh, that's the first time I see a smile like that. I think. <laughs> Which itself is kinda of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? <clears throat> Ghost under the light. The the ten the tendrils of my 
hair and illuminate beneath the amber glow. That bathing, it must be this one. The last new, new mate. God, I can't read. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by a sickening, the sickening blue green of the future. Of the future, I, I can't read. I bathe cal calm, breathing air of the present, <laughs> but living in the past. The lights flick. The lights flick. Flickerns, I flicken back. That didn't make any sense to me. What is this? I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. Yeah, you do. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. No, no, she does. But it took you a long time to read. <laughs> ah, well, it's, it's. I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting's pretty. No, it's not. That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was very descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Sometimes easily... Something easy to digest, I suppose. That was not easy to digest at all. Are you into ghost theory? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure that's uh -huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Dark. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts and feelings and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. This isn't going anywhere. I swear, man. I want to get into the good bits. You know, where people kill themselves and stuff. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. So a ghost is just a metaphor. Linger into a last remaining past of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more soul than putting it in that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember, it won't be long before you pick up pick up on these two. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Let's go to Natsuki. At least her voice is easy. <clears throat> hmm? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's just... It just didn't inv invoke any emotion, so basically it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Now that you'll like it. Her <sighs> handwriting is great, thank you. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can sneak. Cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That's beautiful, that is beautiful. I'm gonna read that again. Short, snappy and beautiful. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That's sick. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why aren't you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, be because everyone in high school thinks that, that writing has to be all sophisticated. Is that how you spell sophisticated? Wow. And stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style would make, make you more message. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Oh wow, well, I've totally butchered a voice now. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. She's smiling. She's smiling. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the whole world play. 
Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but I then made it fall flat on the purpose. I didn't like that bit, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the only bit I didn't like. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from a young, youngest one of here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humour her was the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. We've read everyone. Oh my god. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. I was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if any, ev everyone is judging me for my medi mediocre writing abilities. Even if they were just being nice, there's wh no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, literature club after all. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Saira and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes landed on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respectable poems. As I read in tam tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki eyebrows furrow in frustration, meanwhile Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. As he returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Your yours is cute. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolic of symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I I know that. I just meant the language. I guess I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <clears throat> well, I look for the suggestion, I would ask someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Syra so, liked it, and Dark did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it. To just open her eyes. Oh god, that, that creeped me out because I thought, okay, whatever. I don't expect to change anything soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and Dark liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was inspired by it. Suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, damn. Damn, beef is. Beef is. That's not what I. Oh my god, the music even. Oh god, this is getting. You're just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Dark appreciates my fights more than he appreciates it. Huh? And how, how do you know he doesn't appreciate my advice more? He didn't appreciate my advice more. Are you that full of yourself? I. Oh my god, no. If, it, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one Spoof magically grew a size bigger as soon as Dark started showing up. <laughs> oh my god, nah, this this is going good. Oh, uh, Natsuki, that that's a little This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting guys! Suddenly both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. She, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. 
What's the point in making your poems all convol convoluted for no reason? It's the meaning should just jump out the, to the, at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Dark. Wait, wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey a complex feeling and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding the is not only unnecessary limiting yourself in a way. I should have done this part as a whole different video, this argument. You understand, right, Dark? Um, well, uh, 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 don't put me in this. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> of course that's going to be... Uh, wait one sec. 45 minutes? What am I doing with my life? You know, I think I should save at this point. I think I should end the video here. Oh yeah, this is good. Like, I'm going to save this. Yeah, yeah look. Overwrite this save, mate. Haha! <laughs> hey, guess what, guys? That will conclude this video. Yep, that's gonna conclude this video. We'll be back next time with the choice, which I already know what choice I'm gonna make. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more, um, join Discord, links in the description, and I'll see you all in the next one. Wah!